That's a scanner. Archory of Pendragon's next. How? Okay. Let's do this. And we're going to do the usual, so... Also, yes, every, uh, basically, I forgot to say this about the scanner, but, ah, you know what, let it be. We're, we're on Artoria, no more, no tracking back here. Okay, Artoria time. I have to look at the leaf for a bit. <laughs> no big deal. Okay, then. We're very good dress from Excel. Um, okay, nice. okay, thank you, Tamo. Okay, let's start uh, Artoria's um, nutshell. One light, one heavy. Oh, yes. uh, she can also do this very easily. And technically a problem. You can do this very easily with her. She's not very hard to do that with. Either way, uh, one light, one heavy. Next up, two light, one heavy. It's not amazing. I've seen better two lights, one heavy. Wait, was that three light? No, it wasn't. Some way. It was some weird. Oh. Okay, so I think that's the... I've... Okay, so this is 3 light, 1 heavy. Where she does the smashing. I don't think it's that good. You gotta... 4 is where it starts getting good, as you can see. 4 light, 1 heavy. Now let's go for 5 lights, because she has... Yeah, she has 5 lights and 1 heavy. 5 light, 1 heavy is actually pretty decent to clear. Unfortunately, that fifth light sucks so much. But this is pretty neat to clear at least. If you're gonna clear, this is perfectly fine. And now six lights, just because we gotta show everything. There we go. Now heavies. Or heavy. <laughs> and two lights. And then heavy on the air. Okay. I'd say five lights, one heavy for clearing. Maybe the four light one heavy could, could also work. The four light one heavy could also work. As well for the clearing department. Choosy which one you prefer. I'd say maybe four light one heavy might be better. Okay, time for skills, because this is the more important part of the eat. Strike error first. You can slightly change the direction of that beam, by the way. Well, I couldn't show it off because there was some weird bug with the animation. Usually that follows. Okay, let's uh, try this one. Yeah, see? It follows. Uh, you can kind of redirect it a little bit up to a certain point. Uh, it's kind of a um, cone shape. Cone shape, yeah, ability where you activate it, you stay in place, and anyone in that area that's not blocking gets thrown away. Like, very far away. It's a perfectly fine skill. Like, seriously speaking, it's perfectly fine. I mean, you can't move during it and it gets blocked one time and goodbye. Oh, no, See your so prayers. <laughs> See your freaking prayers at that point if, you, if it gets blocked. Um, once. But it's still perfectly fine. Decent to clear. Yeah. It's, it's fine. It's a fine ability. Uh, I use it and I kind of like it just for the pure, uh, you know, blasting off again thing. <laughs> Everyone goes blasting off again. Team Rocket goes blasting off again, I mean. Uh, but... It's... I'd say probably she has better skills. I use it just because I like it, though. If you see me use it, but the, I'd say probably something like the next skill is better. Next up, Starlight Diversion. This is pretty neat. Not only for... Obviously, for clearing, it is great. Uh, but uh, see the yellow 
being projectiles she throws. They don't care about... Yeah, as you can see, they don't really care about walls. They will just keep going. So... They'll just keep going. They don't even, like, disappear after hitting a wall. They go over the wall if required. Uh, it, which is ridiculously annoying when you're not expecting it. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty good skill, actually, in my opinion. It doesn't leave you too vulnerable. It's got a pretty good area co in, in terms of wideness. It's it's a it's a pretty good ability. I'd say I take this over a strike here. Actually, I think I do take. I probably should take this over a strike here, but you know, your choice in the end. It is a bit better than Striker. Uh, by the way, the, both of their damages are fine. Nothing amazing. They have decent amount of damage. And that's where it lives. Next up, Combination Air. This is a hard-hitting skill, but... But... It hits hard. It's a, a close-range skill she... It's not bad, per se, but... It has a few problems. Uh, mainly... Not the first part, this part. The dash part. So the two first strikes do okay damage, but the third one is the one that deals the big damage. But that one... But the third one is also the problem. That dash sometimes will screw. Will get screwed. And you will miss. And you will miss. Which really sucks. Because of that third strike. It's a shame, because this skill... Again, could be probably better than Starlight Divergence, but... Unfortunately, because of that first strike, I would not recommend taking it. I mean, you can still take it. It still works. It's still fine. The first two attacks do what they are supposed to. But, yeah, be careful with the third hit, because it might miss. Next up, Holy Sword Release. Simple enough finger. Uh, she releases her sword seal, as you can see. And she has no damage buffs. It's a sword buff nonetheless, so priority over drive is the usual. But the only thing you get from this is range. And it's perfectly fine. That's nice to have. I'm not absolutely sure. I, I'm not sure if it's only on... I think it's on skills and on uh, basic attacks. It's more prominent on basic attacks, but I think it works for both. Where you get more range on... Everything you do, just basically. So again, you want this up all the time. Surprise, surprise, you want this up all the time. Or as as much, as long as possible. Yeah, I think it also increases your skills, like hit for, hitbox as well. Or just about everything, which is ridiculous. Either way, it's, it's a buff skill. It's good. At this point, splitting buff skills is almost like not required. But you know, just in case, like explain buff skills are great. Obviously, I recommend the buff skill. I also recommend Star Like Divergence, not only for ease of use, mainly for ease of use. If you can use Combination Air, by all means, go for it. Strike <laughs> Air, I like it, but that's me. I know this is this has problems. Uh, Starlight Divergence deals less damage than Strike Air, yes, but it's safer. Uh, and safety is priority number one in the More priority than just about anything else. In, in, this, in PvP, at least. How, how safe can you be while doing as much as you can? Uh, there are characters you don't have a choice but to risk, but if you can... Minimize the risk as much as you can. Why not, right? Or you can just have fun and ignore complete safety and sa safety protocols and just, you know, have fun with it. <laughs> it also works. Very nice stress. Very Anyways. Okay. Time for second part of skills. Next, first up. Invisible air, so this is by order. This is dumb. Uh, <laughs> this is a ridiculously strong ability, even if it doesn't look it look like it. Okay? For the main reason that um, this just about beats just about every skill, almost every skill. This thing. 
beats just, this thing beats almost every skill in the game just outright, which is ridiculous for some dumb reason it does. So you'd think because of the dash this wouldn't be good, but um, no. Everyone gets hit. The moment you activate this, anyone that was attacking you gets screwed over immediately. <laughs> so hard. And it deals a lot of damage. The worst part is this thing deals a lot of damage. Like, you basically, you think you're being attacked by, I don't know, any character in this game that is close range, basic attacking. And you're just blocking there and waiting. Then they do a slight mistake. Let's just say they use one ability and you block it. Just this. Congratulations, you just punish them in the easiest way possible. This skill is great for punishing while you are blocking. Because if you block something, you can just activate this. You will rush in their direction and blast them off to space. Because no matter what, this thing will only do damage at the end, yes, but it interrupts everything <laughs> because it's instantaneous. Because it's instantaneous. That dash already counts as hit stunning everything in its path. It's ridiculous. It is her best skill, basically. That's the point I want to get to. The invisible air is a, um, almost a must on her. It's ridiculously broken. Any... Wait, what? Oh, is that a... Oh, wait. No, that's not. Uh, okay. Starlight Convergence. It's a stun. It's a really short range stun. In, like just about any stun in this game, I'm gonna give my uh. I'm sorry, Blackheart. <laughs> I do in, by the way, and I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> I think, yeah, unfortunately, but I, we ended up getting matches. So, so I mean, even if. Uh, I'm pretty sure at the hour we were in, you were offline. <laughs> I'm not sure, though. It do matter, man! I'm sorry! Next time I'll make sure to at least send you a message no matter what freaking hour it is then. Because I'm pretty sure the hour we place... No, don't! <laughs> I need you, I need view. I need someone to watch my streams. You're like my most consistent viewer. <laughs> also, seriously speaking though, I'm sorry. If I actually... I actually didn't even know you were online at that point. Thank you. Oh god. Going to my YouTube. I uh, think about it. Oh my god. <laughs> what have I just done? <laughs> oh well, it's fine. I'm sorry, Bo. I really am. At least from now on, I'll know. No matter what, I'll send you a message. No matter what hour it is. Even if you're not online, I'll at least send you a message on Discord. If you see it or not, you, you'll have a message there. At the freaking least. Okay, either way, back to my explanations of this goddamn character. Uh, so I was talking about the stun and, uh, right, my recommendation for stuns in general. Um, it's just about every recommendation for a stun in this game. If you have practice, you, you will need practice with this. Uh, as per usual, using stuns in this game requires actual practice and timing and it's it's ridiculous some to get good while at using stuns you gotta practice a lot i am not very good at them i have never denied this point i will never deny it that i'm not very good at using stuns unless we're talking about medusa stun but medusa stun doesn't count uh so if you're really good at using this by all means go ahead else i don't recommend it just ease of use and then also don't forget that stuns do no damage so you are really just grabbing the utility there it depends on you if you really can use it well go ahead have have at it it is not a bad it's not a terrible stun it's not amazing being fair it's one of the weaker stuns but it's still not Absolutely, and it's not unusable. Let's just leave it at that. Next up, Excalibur. 
I am. Oh, I hate the camera freaking in PvE for this. Okay, I'm gonna put myself near the wall so we don't have the camera just jer turning around and, you know, screwing me my aim all over. So, once you activate this, you'll go into this charger phone and you can redirect it, just like I did right now. It does, it's not stuck to the direction you put it. As long as you don't lock, lock onto people, it shouldn't be stuck and you can redirect it. Just don't lock on people. Um, either way, it's a very long range ability that does a lot of damage. But obviously it has that charge time. But it doesn't really matter too much since it does, not only does, well, I've been, it's probably one of the hardest hitting long range skills by itself. Uh, but, you're, it's very good for clearing, it hits really hard, it goes really far. Like, obviously weaknesses, you're not going to use this near someone. They're gonna use this far away from people, like, it's still recommended over a lot of the other things. It also gives you a ton of drive. Surprise, surprise, drive. Talking about drive. You know, oh yeah, but yeah, I recommend Excalibur. So, until now, I've recommended Excalibur, Holy Sword, Invisible Air, and Starlight Divergence. And if you can use it, Combination Air. Now for uh, some drive. Shenanigans. This is gonna be um, kind of hilarious. So I'll just let me start it. So have you finished your coffee yet? Good. Pro you, you probably did, right? So yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you have finished, you exactly. In my mind, this is a <laughs> this is a slow ass drive. <laughs> this is. By far the slowest drive, it's the slowest or second slowest drive, it competes with Charlie for like, it's the only ch competition for Charlie for worst drive in the game. By the way, that projectile is really slow. On contrary to Charlie's, the projectile of hers is really slow though, which makes it probably the worst one. <laughs> so, even if, it, even if she does use it, it's so slow you might actually still be able to dodge it. So yeah, her drive is very bad. You're never gonna kill anyone with it. You wanna know the worst part of it all, though? The worst part of her drive. It is a hundred percent interruptible. That whole channeling period, you can interrupt her. You can absolutely interrupt her during this whole thing. Not only takes forever to charge, goes slowly, but it can be interrupted. At least if it was immune, it wouldn't be so bad, since, you know, you'd be immune at least during that whole duration. It's at least a survivable drive skill. But not even that's a thing. Yeah, our drive is really, 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 really bad. It's the worst drive in the game. And pro ends down, worst drive in the game. There, nobody else has a worse drive than this. Anyways, we've seen the worst drive in the game, so time to show how to. Uh, time to show how to play slash uh, some multi, some AI game because that's all I can do because nobody's online for me to actually do a mul proper multiplayer game. <laughs> Either way, uh, multiplayer. God damn it, mouse! Get out of the way! And that bug is dumb. Okay, so we're gonna create a room. Uh, grab ourselves, Miss. Grab your, yes, grab Master. your Doritos Black Heart. Need them. Uh, okay, so this is uh, really. Okay, this is actually the recommended build. Okay, I actually thought I had uh. This is... Uh, what is this build? Like... What are these builds? There's no difference here. Uh, okay, I gotta find... Um, okay. As per usual... Uh, not that. That's, that. That doesn't make sense in a meme build. And I guess it's... Eh, no, no. 
what I'm gonna consider just the meme build. Really. And this one is gonna be what I consider my build, if you wish. It's just a slight difference from the one above it. Being fair, there's barely any differences from this one to the one above. It's just instead of Strike of Starlight Divergence, I take Strike Air. There is almost no difference there. So, uh, the recommended build. We got Excalibur, Starlight Divergence, Invisible Air, Holy Sword released by Easy Peasy. Go, go, go fight. My build. Which enables Excalibur, Strike Air, Invisible Air, Holy Sword release. This is just one difference again. I just like Strike Air, that's me. And what I consider the meme build, which is Combination Air, Strike Air, Starlight Diversion, and Starlight Conversions. If you just want to meme a little, just go with this. <laughs> it's not as effective as these, basically. It's not, but I don't think it's completely unusable. None of our skills are unusable, that's the thing. It's just I there are some some things are better than others. It's the usual. Also, uh I'm just gonna assist this bit. And we're going in. For the kill. Aha. I suck at jokes. I know. My nose probably <laughs> By the way, warning, this stream is not going to be very long. Mainly because sooner or later I'll have to actually get out of this where I am and go somewhere else. I might be able to still keep streaming, but I'll have to change location. That'll take a bit. Yeah, let's uh, do this. Always buff yourself. Excalibur from safety, obviously. See what I meant by invisible air, just catching people. <laughs> by the way, being good. She was even in the middle of that, and I still caught her. Okay. There's not much here. It's like, if you want to talk about the basic attacks, you'll probably be doing the tornadoes. Like that. Either that or the four light one heavy. Which might actually be better just for the ability. Goodbye. Shield. Oh, God. Wow, that actually still hit them. Yeah, Excalibur is also pretty nice because it actually is relatively fast. You can also do this from block, technically. Invisible is just better for it, though. So I'm gonna show it off. You know, if possible. There you go. <laughs> just do that. Congratulations. You just just dealt a lot of damage by by itself. So um, she does. She has a combo, by the way. She does have a combo. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience using it though. Uh, that might be a bit complicated with the AI as well. But I'm gonna try do the combo. Okay, people. I am gonna try. Uh oh, not gonna happen here. <laughs> it involves invisible air, by the way. Obviously. It involves invisible air and Excalibur, by the way. Then you immediately follow up with invisible air, and that's how it goes. But unfortunately. My AI is not helping my case. <laughs> At all. Also, do not drive. For the love of all that's on. Do not use your drive skill. Ever. Never use your drive skill. And there you go. There's the combo. Excalibur as close as possible to them. You gotta Excalibur close to them, unfortunately. I'm gonna see if I can do this with Starlight Divergence, because if I can do it Starlight Divergence, it might be a bit safer. Okay, you can. You can, at least for point blank characters, you can. And it almost kills all the time. The other one definitely kills, by the way. Excalibur pull is invisible air? Yeah, they're dead. I did not have invisible air there. That face. 
<laughs> but yeah, this is, that is ridiculous. You saw that damage, 8,800 damage. It, it's really good. It's a really good skill. Especially if it back attacks. Oh boy! But yeah, there you go. Uh, that's Artoria in a nutshell. So, tips, tips um, Saber shenanigans, exactly. So, Excalibur from far away, unless you're in drive, then actually try to combo them. If you're in drive, try to combo them with close range Excalibur. Into invisible. If someone is harassing you and basically just trying to kill you really hard, just block a little invisible air their ass and send them to Kingdom Come. Um, deliverance. Send them to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, all the way to another completely different game. <laughs> and by the love of all that's holy, don't drive skill. <laughs> Unless the one time you drive skill, there is one time. And that is if someone is gonna go sector swapping into your sector. Then you need t to time it perfectly. So when they get in, you know, they get hit by a drive skill right in their face. That's the only time that drive skill should relatively be used. The main reason why you will probably never hit it in a normal circumstance, besides the other obvious reasons, is if she at least didn't shout off the top of her lungs either yeah or X out of the top of her lungs, she might actually get away with it. But unfortunately, voice lines are thing. Audio cues are a thing. And hers is very obvious. By far and away very obvious. Meanwhile, Mr. Nameless has a similar drive skill and he barely says a peep. Literally. He almost says nothing during his. It's ridiculous. It's 10 billion times better than a drive skill. Much. It's faster coming out. It's faster actually traveling. And he almost doesn't say anything. Like, come on. Come on, game. But yeah, that, that's Saber in a nutshell. Um, how good is she? So, from a rating from D to EX, so D, C, B, A, S, E, X, she's an A. She is solid. She'd probably be an S if not for the uh, very obvious problem. Um, but she's very, very much a solid A. Very good A. She's a very good A. She is like on par with like narrow or something of the genre if I had to consider something uh, somewhere she's still very good you should still play her she's fun play at least I can give you that much at least that's all there she wrote for that yep X and then we have I can at least do 